Hello, Namaskar, Vanakkam. Let's come to the second video in our series where we are doing the question and answers of English literature for ICSC class 10. This one is on the elevator. As I have told you in the video, I am not doing, out, doing any success test papers. I am not doing any question bank on the Study with Sudhir app. Everything will be put here free of cost on the YouTube channel itself for various reasons which I don't want to go to. For those of you who want more, Please look at the Oswald book question bank, which I really think is very good. If you want more, you can also look at the sample test papers. See why I'm recommending Oswald books is also for a reason because Baki Sabi publishing houses ke mukable, the kind of rigor in terms of editorial supervision and proofreading jo Oswald books karta hai, aur koi nahi karta hai. Okay, so there is a certain rigor which is followed, which I found very impressive because I do it by closely understanding how the process inside a publishing house is okay it's not like any other dukan so the elevator is a science fiction plot pehla question of the mcq but it also explores the theme of life in a city elevator technology family relationships or obesity so konse theme ko it explodes the correct answer is family relationships the relationship between martin and his father okay it also explores c why was martin always uncomfortable in elevators because he was only 12 years old because elevators shuddered because he was afraid they would fall because elevators were too small the correct answer is C because he was afraid they would fall. The steps on the staircase were made of clay, they were made of cement or were they made of wood or were they made of stainless steel? The correct answer is B, cement. <coughs> Sorry. Identify the incorrect sentence. The elevator door stayed open too long. The elevator had poor lighting. The elevator had dirty walls. The elevator could carry only three people. See, please always remember ki aap eliminate karein. Aap seedha correct answer ko mat jaiye. Eliminate ki jiyo, especially when these kind of things are there. Kyunki confuse kar sakta hai. To kya wo teen people ko carry kar sakta tha? Ye sahi hai. Dirty walls, ye bhi sahi hai. B bhi sahi hai. Only A is the one which is not true and therefore it is the incorrect sentence and therefore it becomes the correct option. At school, Martin had got used to long periods, short lunch break, bullying or heavy workload. The correct answer is C, bullying. Fifth ka C. Martin is afraid of being trapped in the elevator. What is this fear called? Now, this is something which you should be knowing as part of your... Uh, understanding of this particular chapter the correct answer is c claustrophobia which means feeling very uh, breathless inside that enclosed space many people have this actually whenever martin uses the stairs instead of the elevator he gasps for breath he slips and breaks his leg now yahan par ye hua hai lekin yahan par shabd kaun sa istemal kiya gaya hai whenever Aisa nahi hai ki har samay par wo gir ke apni tang tod leta hai. So this option is ruled out. He wanted his father to accompany him. That is not true. Feared the lady would meet him. That's not true. So the correct answer is 7th A. So 7th ka A. Martin thought the lady had to be crazy because she kept staring at him. She breathed loudly. She was huge and her eyes were tiny. The correct answer is she kept staring at him. What gave Martin the feeling that another person climbed behind him on the stairs? The echo of the footsteps, the lack of windows, the non-functional lights or 17 floors of steps. The correct answer is the echo of the footsteps. Martin's father stops on the ninth floor because he wants to confront the fat lady. He wants Martin to travel alone. He wants to climb the stairs to the 17th floor or he wants to meet Mrs. Ullman. The correct answer is D. This is a straight recall question. 11th question. Choose the option that lists the sequence of events in the correct order. Okay. Ye aap bataye. Ye char main dekh leta hon. Okay. Now you read it and then you 
uh, write the option in your notebook in 5 seconds or 10 seconds and then we will go through it. Okay. Kaun sa hai? The correct answer is D, D, A, C, B because uh, this happens first, then D, A, C, ye wala, and then it is B. D, A, C, B, 11th ka D option. 12th question. The only way he could have reached the buttons would have been by standing on his toes, by touching the lady, by requesting the lady to help him or by using the pencil. The correct option is B by touching the lady, which is something he did not want to do. When Martin did not step into the lift, the lady's expression suggested that she was amused, surprised, aghast, disappointed. So, 13th ka kaun sa hai? The 13th one is amused, A, and amused had a slightly evil touch to it, a slightly sinister touch to it, right? So, amused is not something like, you know, feeling happy for someone. But there is a sinister touch to that look of amusement. Martin told his father about this strange lady. In which way did his father not react? He asked Martin if he was going to be timid all his life. He did say that. He snapped at Martin for being afraid of an old lady. He said that. He did not look away from the television. He was engrossed uh, in what was coming on television. He scolded him for crying in front of him. No, he cried in the other room because he did not want his father to see him. So option D is the right option. You are afraid, said his father. When are you going to grow up and act like a man? What does this sentence tell us about Martin's father's character? He was cowardly, greedy, insensitive or was he rude? Which is the correct option? The correct option is C. He was insensitive. Yes, he's also being a little rude. But right now in the context of this particular sentence, he was being insensitive. 16th question. At the end of the story, the fat lady presses the dash button. Stop button, ground floor, 17th floor. It's a recall question. Ninth uh, floor. 16th is A. She presses the stop button at the end of the story and you don't know what happens after that. When Martin's dad tells him to grow up, he actually means he wants him to leave him alone. He wants Martin to grow taller. He thinks Martin is a coward and rubbishes him all of the above. So, 17th ka, the correct option will be C. All of the above, jahan par bhi dekhe, it is, please remember, it's a ploy to confuse you. Ho sakta hai ki wo sahi ho, but it can also be a trick to confuse you. So, here the option is option C, 17th C. Martin feels relieved about staying at home with a broken leg because he could now avoid the elevator. He could now avoid the stairs. His father would be nice to him. He would escape the bullies at school. So here in this particular story's context, 18th A is the right one. Halaki, I think he would have been happy about this also. So that's not mentioned. So this is the right option. Which of the sentences from the story, the elevator is not true. Martin was a thin 12 year old boy. The lady was wearing an old green coat. Martin was skinny, weak and bad at sports. The lady had large fleshy cheeks, no chin and brown eyes. I want you to read the options very carefully. Is mein ek choti si galti ki hai. Usi ki wajay se. So please see which is the incorrect sentence. The correct option is D because she did not have brown eyes. She had blue eyes. Okay. So please always, that's why I said look at every option very carefully the the correct option here which is an incorrect sentence is d because she had blue eyes not brown eyes the last mcq the elevator shuddered every time it left the floor as if it was exhausted what literary element has been used here simile repetition personification metaphor right uh, it is personification because it shuddered hila uh, it can't be simile uh, now, here, as ka istamal kiya gaya hai, uske babajud, it cannot be a simile because some of you will say, par bhi as ya like ka use kiya jai, that is called a simile. 
but here it cannot be called a simile and I will tell you why because a simile directly compares two different things. You know, he is as brave as a lion, right? So it kind of compares two uh, different things to highlight a specific similarity between them. Okay, here that is not the case. Here, it every time it left row as if it was exhausted, it is not comparing two similar things. It is talking about a particular aspect. So therefore, it is not a simile. It is the use of the literary device of personification. Okay, now let's come to the reference to context questions. This is a passage. Okay, this is not from any of your uh, specimen paper or item back. So this is about the lady. Okay. So at which floor did the lady enter the elevator? What is the beginning of be, beginning? Sorry. What is the meaning of balloon? Not beginning. Meaning of balloon. Why do you think Martin felt uncomfortable? The lady was wearing an old oversized green color coat that ballooned around her. She was so fat that her coat brushed against Martin and he had to squeeze himself to, into a corner inside the tiny elevator. She had large fleshy cheeks and no chin, just a huge mass. So you have to put the entire description of the lady out here. That's what is expected from you. Balloon means it spread around her in such a way that made her seem even more big than she was. Martin felt uncomfortable because despite him looking away, the woman continued to stare at him, breathing loudly. To make matters worse, he could not rush out of the elevator and had to wait for her to exit first. What was Martin's biggest fear about riding the elevator? Now here again, it's a recall question. You have to mention all the different fears that it would fall. He felt uncomfortable with the door which never stayed open long enough. It slammed shut with a loud clanging noise. It would stop suddenly. He was afraid it would stop suddenly and he would be trapped inside it for hours by himself. How did Martin feel when there were other passengers in the elevator? This is what you need to write. Again, these are all recall questions just like in the specimen paper. So I've tried to kind of use the same kind of style uh, so that you understand what it is. He disliked being in close proximity to strangers and disliked how people tried hard not to look at one another, staring at nothing. This added to his existing dislike of the elevator. Why were the stairs not better than the elevator? The stairs were no better than the elevator because they had no windows and the lights not work. Furthermore, Martin's footsteps. See how I have connected it. This is something which you need to remember even in essays. Furthermore, Martin's footsteps echoed behind him on the cement steps as though there was another person climbing and getting closer. So for this reason, he did not like the stairs. Do you think the elevator is a... You can also add that, you know, he runs out of breath. That's another thing which you could mention. Do you think the elevator is a character? Now, this is an important answer. Please remember this. If yes, how does the theme of fear and claustrophobia? Very important question. Very important question. How does the theme of fear and claustrophobia play out in the story? This is a four mark question. Yes, the author has included the elevator almost like a character in the story. It seems to have a mind of its own because, you know, it decides when it wants to close, when it wants to uh, open without allowing much time to the passengers to get in or out makes all kinds of sounds and seems exhausted. So it's like a character. It's almost like a person. Using the elevator, the story delves, gets into the fear of being trapped, both physically and psychologically. Very, very important. The elevator becomes a symbol of confinement because it's a small enclosed space as there is hardly any space to move and the protagonist's escalating panic amplifies the sense of claustrophobia. So you see, you will be able to write like this only if you understand the story in English itself. Otherwise, you will exam hall in Hindi se English mein hi translate in English. Okay? And you will not be able to use the same answers mein nahi kar So please make use of the kind of words that I have used, the kind of phrases I have used so that your answer reads that much better. This is from the item bank. Okay? This is about Martin's father. So this is the passage. How old was Martin? On which floor did he live? What would be this thing? So this is a recall and analysis question. 12 year old boy. He lived on the 17th floor. He was a timid boy who felt claustrophobic inside an elevator. So if you can write so much, you will get marks. Because you have targeted the questions of three questions. Why was Martin scared of using the elevator? Martin was scared. Now you have to now write the details out here. There is poor lighting, which was in the first place. Details, clanging noise, dirty walls, 
it shuts down fast and he was scared that he would get trapped etc that you have to ride martin disliked using the staircase now again this is something which was there in the first one also martin met a strange person in the elevator now what was his experience uh, with the uh, fat lady so you need to mention about her uh, key what what happened because of which he felt very uncomfortable one day seeing her in there ran down the stairs fell and fractured his leg so this is something which happened what happened when he ran away so this is something uh, what happened and then uh, the specific day when he met with an accident then comment on the ending of the story the elevator identify any two elements of horror now this is the longish answer iska dhyan rakhna hai mujhe lagta hai ki aapko sabse jyada dikkat is char mark ke answers mein aayegi so please make use of the videos jisme ki maine kafi sara detail mein in sab cheezon ko bataya hai mere short notes mein bhi thode se points aapko milenge jo ki instagram page pe hai study of study with sudhir mein okay there is no resolution to the fierce experience by martin at the end of the story as the story ends rather abruptly suddenly khatam ho jati hai na stop button se khatam ho jati hai we don't know what really happens after that it's a cliffhanger please use this word ending as the fat lady presses the stop button and we do not know what could have happened to martin after that the lack of resolution ki there is no clear ending to the story leaves the reader hanging wondering what happens next this creates a sense of suspense and allows the reader to imagine different possibilities ki ye ho sakta tha shayad ye bhi ho sakta hai shayad ye bhi ho sakta tha many possibilities arise by not providing a clear ending the author invites the reader to participate in the story we are encouraged or you can say the reader is encouraged to ponder over martin's fate and consider his chances to escape because he, did he escape the lady the lack of a definitive answer adds to the story's ambiguity ambiguity means uh, lack of clarity uh, perhaps martin conquers his fear and emerges safely perhaps the woman's intentions are sinister means dangerous leaving a darker uh, outcome or leading to a darker outcome this ambiguity allows for multiple interpretations and enriches the story's meaning the abrupt ending shifts the focus from the fear of the elevator and the fat lady to martin's internal conflict the reader is left to consider whether martin can overcome his fear regardless of the external circumstances two elements of horror include the fat lady stopping the elevator between floors and the sinister smile on the woman's face at the end of the story so agar aap is tarah se is answer ko aap copy kar lijiye likh lijiye apne notebook mein because isme kai sare phrases ka maine istemal kiya hai which you can use in your answers that will make your answers look that much better okay so with this we come to the end of this particular test paper on the elevator i'll meet you in the next chapter story or poem of treasure chest after which we'll do julius caesar also it will be a long drawn out process because i'll be doing class 12 also i'll be doing uh, uh, various other classes also so everything will take time so please show patience okay tata bye bye all the best god bless you